Hey, this is Hans from Dakota Angler and Outfitter. Today we're going to tie a hair and partridge soft tackle. We've got a wet fly hook in the vise. You can tie this fly in sizes 12 through 18. I'm, si I'm tying it on a size 12 hook. You could use a Daiichi 1560 or a Tiemco 3769. Once I get my thread started, tie in some copper wire. And I just tie it in just by the tip of the wire piece and then wind my thread back nice and tight over the top until we get to the back of the hook, just shy of where your thread's going to hang down at the barb. So we're not quite as far back as the barb on this hook. And take some Hairs Ear Plus dubbing. Don't get too carried away. We're going to dub our thread with about two inches of dubbing in a nice kind of thin noodle. Wrap forward, building up a little bulk as you go forward. Add just a tiny bit more if you need to fill in. Just want to leave a little bit of room here at the front of the hook. There we go. We'll just counter wrap that with our wire. Go ahead and tie off our wire with a couple of wraps. And then when I counter wrap, I also fold it back. Put a couple wraps over the top, and then I put some thread tension on with my left hand. Wiggle until the wire breaks. Now we're ready for our soft tackle. I'm going to take a partridge feather here. Get some variety. I'm going to go for a little more of the more brown speckled feathers from the back of the pelt like that. What I can do is kind of clean this up by getting rid of all this stuff here. We just don't need all that at the back of the feather. We're more concerned with what's at the front. We start kind of folding things forward like this so that the tip of the feather is exposed. You can get as close to the tip of the feather as you can here. Might be about as far as I'm going to get. I'm going to trim out most of that tip so I just have a little bit left. And then I'll tie that little tip in like that and then I fold it back if I can. That kind of secures it. Then I'll take the whole feather, just kind of pull the fibers back so they're angled back. So, oops, there's what happens when you pull a little too hard. Let's tie it back in here. There we go. Okay, I won't pull quite as hard this time. You have to be careful with a lot of these feathers. So once you've got it tied in, folders, fibers lightly leaning back, go ahead and wrap just a turn, turn and a half of that hackle on. There we go. Tie off the excess. Whoops. Fold everything back and out of the way. Trim out my stem. And go ahead and whip finish. Oops.
trim off my thread. There we go. Partridge and hair. Doesn't look like a whole heck of a lot. But during a caddis hatch, just as the caddis are starting to emerge, this fly is deadly. You can use it other times of the year. It's a really versatile, versatile soft tackle, but really a great pattern in the summer into the fall when there's caddis activity. Been focusing more on fishing wet flies, soft tackles in particular this year, and it's really paid off. These are really old patterns. They're very simple to tie, but they catch an awful lot of fish. Tie some up, be ready for next season, and give them a swing. Drop them off behind a dry fly. You can even fish them dead drift like you would any other nymph pattern. Any way you fish them, they work. I'm Hans from Dakota Angler and Outfitter. Thanks for watching.